Piano la raccomandanti di una certa turbolenza avanti, ci rimarchiamo che il servizio della prima colazione sia fatto ritardare. Grazie. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has advised us of some turbulence ahead. We regret that breakfast service will be delayed. Turbulence? Breakfast delayed? I want my breakfast now. Well, you are so cute when you're hungry. <laughs> Do you sleep well? Yeah, visions of Bella Roma danced in my head. And you? I dreamt you and I were chasing Victor down a narrow street and we could never catch up to him. We'll get our man, don't you worry. <laughs> I can't believe I ever thought that guy was a secret agent. Well, yeah, he did have one nasty looking syringe. <laughs> because he was a pharmaceutical rep, not because he was after us. Oh, you're right, Kevin. I have to stop being so paranoid. You're concerned about Victor. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's, that's okay. Oh. Signore, grazie tanto. He said he will have to return to your seat. Oh. You couldn't spill club soda? Oh, but you look cute in tomato juice. <laughs> Chris, I called Lucy yesterday. Your first mistake? I made up an excuse. Don't worry. But I had to check on Christina. And it is a good thing I did. I heard her crying in the background. Babies do that, Julie. And mothers comfort them. That is my job, not Lucy's. The baby's first weeks of life are precious. I don't want to miss any more of them. When do I get out of here? Sooner than you think. In the meantime, when would you like to see me? You got my visiting privileges restored? Not exactly. Our good friend Darren Leopold did. Yeah, it's just a little preview of what he can do once he's named your legal guardian. I like it so far. Well, there's more. Tune into WLPC at 2 p.m. sharp. I have a surprise for you that's going to knock your socks off, Pookie. I, um, I wondered where you'd gotten to. You, you know, you didn't come back to bed after Christina woke up. Well, I figured you deserved to have some sleep, you know, and the kid's a little fussy, so I, um, stayed up singing her Three Dog Night tunes. All night long? Yeah. She particularly liked One is the Loneliest Number. Oh. Well, I'm glad um, you were with her and not staying away because you couldn't stand to sleep in the same bed with me. Because I slept with David Bordiso. Scott? What? what? What do you want me to say, Lucy? I got this picture in my head of the two of you wrapped around each other. And I hate it. I hate it. And I can't get it out of my head, no matter how hard I try. say, leave it to you to look ahead and put a change of clothes for both of us in your carry-on bag. Well, I am an excellent traveling companion. You're an excellent companion no matter how you look at it. Yeah, again, let me apologize for that tomato juice. <laughs> I was looking for something to spike it with. <laughs> Flying and turbulence are not my favorite combination. Your first visit to the Eternal City? Uh, yes, it is. How about yourself? 
I'm, uh, I'm attached to the U.S. Embassy. If, uh, if there's anything I can do for you, uh, do you, uh, know where you folks will be staying? Yeah, the Pensioni, uh, Fiorenza. Ah, you know, there's a splendid trattoria right around the corner. I'd love to take you out to dinner, uh, to make up for my clumsiness. We appreciate that, but actually, we're quite pressed for time. Thank you very much, though. Uh, um, oh, looks like the seatbelt sign came back on. Looks like we'll be landing soon. Didn't you tell him about Victor? He said he could help us. Because, frankly, I don't know what kind of trouble Victor is in. And I don't know anything about this Mr. Zorin. <sighs> now who's being paranoid? Well, as they say, beware of strangers bearing gifts. Or business cards. That's Greece. We're going to Rome. Which is where you do as the Romans do. What's that? With this most unusual update on the general homicide story, I'm here at General Hospital with Dr. Chris Ramsey, the one man who can confirm or deny a startling rumor. Well, I'm here to confirm it by announcing my engagement to Julie Devlin. Who is also known as the general homicide killer. Well, what can I say? I'm in love with a woman who's not the monster she's made out to be in the media. Not only is Julie sane, but she's also innocent. Dr. Ramsey, she killed five people. Well, I'm afraid you didn't quite do your homework. Julie was acquitted of four of the murders, and she wasn't even tried for the fifth. Therefore, an innocent woman is being held in the hospital for the criminally insane. I, I know that you don't really want to get into this. Um... Hey, it's okay. We're right here. We're right here. Look at that, huh? She's as sharp as a tack. We just start doing a little talking, and there she is. Raring to go. Well, it's because she doesn't want to miss anything, you know. Do you really, really <clears throat> think that we're going to be able to keep her? The mother doesn't show up. Yeah. Yeah, right. You know, I could live with that. I, I'd be fine living with that. Kind of. I could handle it if I knew everything was okay between us. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. You said you had this picture in your head of you and bordizo what do you think that i have in me i have this horrible disgusting memory of a man that i loathe and can't stand actually touching me and putting his arms around me and rubbing my skin oh stop it Shh. i wish i could have said stop i wish i had said stop to him but i didn't know who i was and you realize he just did this to me to get at you to hurt you well, he is going to pay for it. But do I have to pay? Is that what this is? Do I have to pay, too? You lied to me. I did not lie. I just didn't tell you everything because I was so hurt and confused. And I was so humiliated, and I kept thinking over and over again, why am I going to do this? Why am I going to tell Scott when this is just going to hurt you, too? Yeah, so what did you do? You, you gave... For Diesel, this club, so it could come and just hit me over the head. I made a very big mistake. I've got to go. I've got to see Lee. Oh, Belle. Lucy, Lucy. We were doing so well. Yeah, we were really on a roll, weren't we? I'm just gonna need a lot of time with this. Would you please try not to just walk away? I'm not walking away. This um, loophole in the new Serena line, I gotta take care of before the competition comes marching through. Serena! Have a good day at camp. Well, I, don't, I don't know if we just go with a phrase, non-exclusive trademark. Your mind isn't on this, is it? No. It's Lucy. Was she getting too attached to the baby, is that? 
No, no, no. We're, we're both getting attached to the baby. It's a... It's a whole other mess. What is it, Scott? When... Lucy was in New York with Bordisa when she lost her memory, okay. he convinced her that she was an old friend, an old love of his, and... she bought that and she ended up sleeping with him. Oh, Scott, I'm sorry. Worst thing is how I found out. Lucy didn't tell you? Bordiso sent me a tape, like a little peep show, with his hands all over her. Oh. And then it was... then that she admitted that she had... slept with him. And now that's troubling you. I, I hate what Bordiso did, but I hate the fact that Lucy didn't tell me. Well, Scott, she knew you'd react like this. It's Bordiso who took something that you cared about. Yeah, and he, he, he ruined it. He, he dirtied it and then no, soiled Scott, it. Scott, he tried to dirty it. Now, you can't let him get away with it. No, I'm not going to let him get away with this. But the trouble is that every time I look at Lucy... You see a woman who slept with the enemy. That's right. I know that Bordiso was coming after me. But he put Lucy right in the middle of this. And now... Every time I put my arms around her, all I can think about is Bordiso. And you know what? I have been down this road before with Laura, and I do not want to go down this road again. It's like being in a squirrel cage. It just goes round and round, doesn't seem any way out. It's kind of like Gail and I were when I was drinking. How did you guys survive? Well, we never gave up, that's all. Well, it's true. You never did. Even me, you know? I mean... I never gave up. I used to push you away all the time, every time you got close. Well, now you're a father. Maybe you understand that, huh? Yes, I do. You love your kids no matter what, no matter what they That's do. That's right. You don't say, I'll love you if. You say, I love you, period. Gil. Hi. Hi. This is the morning you wanted me to drive Serena to day camp, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. She's upstairs. Getting ready, please come in. Oh, how oh, is the new addition? Is she keeping you up at night? No, uh-uh. I'm fine. Doing, uh, actually, really great. Actually, that's not true at all. Um, I, I just, I could, I sure could use somebody, and, you know, anybody to talk to. You mean you would even consider me? No, that's not, not what I mean. I'm sorry. It, it's just, um, uh, I, I just don't want to involve you in this mess. That's all. Well, what if I volunteer, Lucy? No, you, you can't do that, because that would mean you're being very, very kind, and I, at this point, it would make me very, very sad. <sighs> Sweetheart, what is it? What, what has happened? I, um, I slept with David Bordiso in New York City, when I did not remember who I was. He told me I was someone named Eve White, and I bought right into it. <gasps> well, uh, well, ha have you told Scott? Uh, he knows now. I, I, I didn't tell him when I should have, when I came right back, and Bordizo sent a tape of us kissing in the back of his limo. And I wasn't exactly pushing him away. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean Eve White wasn't pushing him away, not you. Not Lucy Coe, no, no. You weren't there. You didn't consent to that intimacy. Then why do I feel so guilty and why do I feel like damaged goods? Because you have been damaged. Something terrible happened to you. It happened to Scott, too. And you know it's never going to get better unless you admit that to yourselves, to each other. I don't know how we're going to do that, because right now Scott can't stand to be in the same room with me. Well, then Bordiso wins. I mean, he's... he's stripped you of your dignity. He's destroyed Scott's faith in you. Do you want that to be the way it, it, it is? No. Say that again. No. Then say no to Bordiso. And say no to Scott the next time he tries to walk away from you. Then what? Then tell him 
all the feelings that you're having. Tell him about the guilt and the hurt and the anger. All of it. And then you get Scott to tell you how he's feeling. I'm very good at this stuff, you know. Okay, I'm in. I'm gonna do it. Uh, when he walks through that door, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll do my best. It's just I'm afraid. What if he can forgive me, but he can't forget? Scusa. Pala Inglés? Si. Yes. We're trying to locate my father. Bill Dyson. We were told he's being held by Italian customs. I'm sorry, but you cannot see Mr. Dyson. He's been deported. To where? A moment. If Victor isn't here... Then where do we go now? Would you like one last word of advice about Lucy? Thanks, but I'm gonna get on home and figure this out. What the hell is that idiot Ramsey doing on TV? Based on the new evidence we found, Julie Devlin deserves her day in court. What's the stumbling block? The incompetence of her legal guardian, Lee Baldwin. That's out and out Even slander. Even though Miss Devlin is innocent, she's haunted by these crimes. She'd like to help the victim's families in any way she can, but even the simple act of kindness is being blocked by Mr. Baldwin, who seems to be preying on her weakness to keep her under his thumb while he manages her substantial estate. That's it. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What are you going to do? You get to the bottom of this. All Julie wants to do is clear her name, and Lee Baldwin is standing in her way. He needs to be replaced, or don't we care about justice anymore? Yes! It's bye-bye to Ferncliff and Port Charles. Here I come. Jillian is torn between the man she loves. You're all I ever wanted in this whole world. And the man that wants to love her. You ended the marriage. Let her go. If she can't let go of the past. Ryan is still in your blood. You still love him. How will she move on to the future? Jake Ryan's out of my life. I don't think he is. Well, my children on ABC Daytime. The more I try and put the pieces together... The more this doesn't make sense. All right, we know that Victor got on the plane in Port Charles. We know that because Mac told me that the ground crew ID'd him. Yes, and the flight from Port Charles to Rome was nonstop, so he had to have gotten off here. And he's using the name Bill Dyson. And he got busted for using a phony passport? Victor is way too smart to let himself get caught that easily. I'm sorry. But as I told you, Mr. Dyson has been deported to the United States. And you're absolutely sure of that? Oh, well, that's not... Not a very good likeness, is it? So then, the matter is closed. Grazie. Prego. Okay, so now we know that Victor isn't using the name Bill Dyson. Yeah, but somebody else is. Which means Victor has fallen off the face of the earth. Chris, you were brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't overdo it? No, you were totally believable. And the camera loves you. Thank Darren. He's the one who got me on television. <laughs> yeah, well, wait till Friday. That's when we have our day in court. Lee Baldwin's replaced, and I become your new guardian. It will be so fun watching you take that old Magoo down a notch or two. Brand Lee. <laughs> I always knew you were unscrupulous, but until today, I had no idea how deeply you'd reach into the gutter. I call him like I say him. Uh, Julie, you to listen to me. Nothing this man or his sleazy associate do, nothing is in your best interest. Yes, but why can't I decide that? Well, because until the judge says differently, you are my legal ward. Now, I want the two of you to get the hell out of here. I'm afraid the only person going anywhere is you. Oh, no. oh. Lee. Oh, oh. Lee. <laughs> afraid when you came back home. You know, I... I... You know, you thought I'd just shut down again. I should have told you. 
You're absolutely right. I should have told you I slept with Bordizo right up front. Listen, out the way. Lucy, Lucy, listen to me, okay? Uh, whether you told me or whether I found out the way I did, I would not have liked it either way. Well, you do realize Bordizo was really trying to destroy everything good in our lives. Well, that is not going to happen. But can we ever be the same again, do you think? Well, I don't know. I haven't... Uh taken all your clothes out of all the closets yet, have I now? Oh, come here. You know what? As long as I can touch you like this and just hold you, I know everything's going to be okay, that maybe we can get everything we wanted. And, and I promise you, I promise... No, come on, no promises. We know each other too well for that. Okay, then no walking away from trouble again, right? I never walk away. Hello. Scotty, get over to the hospital right away. Please had a heart attack. Thursday, they were the country's most glamorous couple, beautiful, heroic, wealthy, but their lives were shattered when their son vanished. What else did they lose that night? Vanished. ABC Thursday. <laughs>